Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we've got something pretty cool to go over because there is a new fast easy method on how to clone absolutely any Pokemon and any item in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Of course, do this at your own risk, but it seems to be absolutely fine at the moment. It isn't patched yet. And as I say, you can clone any Legendary, any Shiny, anything of your choice in these games. We're going to be showing you how to do it today. If you're excited for the video, drop a like down below. Leave a comment what is the first Pokemon that you're going to be cloning. Subscribe if you're brand new. Let's get into the video. So, starting things off, how do you do this method? Well, before we had a cloning method which involved the daycare, but that cost you money, as little as it did. But this is a new method which costs you absolutely nothing. You can do it really early on in the game. And again, it is a very, very fast method on how to clone any Pokemon and any item. So if you do get like a shiny starter at the, the start of the game or a very lucky shiny or whatever, or you want like six Piplups, this is what you can do. So... Save the game next to any patch of grass because you're going to be needing that grass to initiate a battle, which is what is needed for this cloning glitch. Um, so yeah, just save the game there. It makes life a little bit easier if you do like mess it up constantly or whatever. Then what you need to do is go into your menus. Um, so basically you want the Pokemon that you're going to clone, which is in this case my shiny Honchkrow holding a sharp beak, at the first slot in your team. And then the last slot in your team, it will be the Sacrificial Lamb. So... This Pokemon will be gone. You will be getting rid of the last Pokemon in your team. If you're doing a lot of radar hunting, this isn't going to be a problem for you. Because as you can see, I've been doing a lot of radar hunting. I got a lot of Pokemon that are just needing to leave my boxes. Instead of releasing all these Pokemon, I could literally just clone a bunch of shiny Honchkrow or a bunch of shiny Shinx or whatever. But yeah, I have a lot of sacrificial lambs. So, how do you do this glitch? Well, you want to go to the summary of any Pokemon. I'm just going to do the Pokemon that I want to clone at this case to make it easier. And then you want to hit ZL, ZR, and A all at the same time. And then hopefully, when you click B, it should send you back to this screen. And then you click B again. And then it should take you back to this screen. And then you click B again. And then you should have like this overlapping menu. That's what you want to see. Once you see this overlapping menu, it means that the glitch is in effect. So you click B again. Then you click B again, and then you click B again, click B again, and then basically you should have the overlapping screen, and then you should be able to run around off the screen. As you can see in the background, I am moving around, and that, that means that basically the glitch is in effect. Then what you want to do is just go into absolutely any battle at all, which is why you need to be next to some grass, and then you want to go into your Pokemon teams. So uh, as you can see in the background, there's just a, a I encountered a wild Starly. Go to your boxes, and then what you want to do is you want to just grab the Pokemon that you want to clone and then just put it in a box and then click B and then click B again. And then what you want to do from this stage is just in the background, as you can see, I can move from fight to Pokemon to bag to run. All you want to do is click run uh, and then it will open up the ball seals. That's fine. And then I just click B from there, go into my Pokemon. And then, as you can see, if I go into my boxes, I have another shiny Honchkrow. This is the exact same Pokemon as the one that's in my team. And that is basically the method. It is so, so easy to do. And again, it, it's, it's crazy how this kind of thing exists in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shiny Pearl. It's absolutely ridiculous. Um, I'm just going to do it real quick one more time um, without like explaining it in such detail to just show how fast you can actually do it. Um, so, as you can see, I've got my Sacrificial Starly there. Uh, and then what I want to do is just go up to this grass, go into my Pokemon summary of the Pokemon that I want to clone, ZL, ZA, and R, and then go back, go back again, go back again, go back again, go back again. You got to go back again quite a bit if you hadn't noticed. It, noticed. And then I'm here on the menu uh, on the menu screen where I can run away in the background, and then just open up my Pokemon, go into my boxes, and then uh, you can kind of wild a Bidoof, grab the Pokemon that I want to clone, just drop it anywhere, go back. Go back. Go back. He's sparkling. He knows that he's about to get another sibling. He's having a good time. Purple rain. Run away. Go away safely. And then... As you can see... Right there. So, it's, it's kind of busted. It's absolutely busted. I don't know why um, this is a thing. It's just... <sighs> I don't know, man. But you could see, I, I, I literally, I, I cloned that second Pokemon within, what, like 20, 30 seconds. It's honestly ridiculous, but it is what it is. So, yeah, you can literally clone any Pokemon and any item in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Really, really simple to do. So, yeah, that's basically the method. Three Shiny Honchkrow, all holding the sharp beak. 
um and that's that's it that's that's literally how you do it it's, it's kind of crazy but anyway that's gonna be everything for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure to drop a like down below leave a comment subscribe if you're brand new uh, it's everything from me have a fantastic rest of your day and until next time peace